mention. Anyway, tell me about Paris. Right. Like a game, private game, just us two. Right, sorry, carry on. Right. Um, we went on this Disneyland Paris trip, right? Um, and before we went, we were like signed up. We had this for people. I chose Harry Moore and Adam Shaw, who were my mates at the time, when now they're a pile of tossers. So, um, one of them, Adam Shaw, has to have a YouTube channel, and he's the cringiest cunt ever, right? Um, yeah, I'll give you a link to it at the end. Right, anyway, the first night, it's all right. We, just, we go on the, the boat and that, and we go over to France. We, we, we go to the hotel, which is really crap and not very good. It's, it's a Western-style hotel. It's only a Western-style hotel, so they can get away with making it look like a pile of shite, right? Oh, it's a cowboy hotel. That's why there's a spider in your bed. So the second day, right, we went to Disneyland. Me and Adam decided to go on the elevator ride. You know which one I'm on about, where it like, goes up and then suddenly drops like a horror ride. Oh, yeah, no, uh, no, I can't like, remember its name. Yeah, right. We and Adam decided to split off from everyone else and go and do go on this ride because, like, we have like a schedule when they're going over the rides and that. But we decided to split off and go and do it ourselves. Yeah. So we're all alone lining up in this line of pile of Frenchies saying a pile of crap that I don't understand. <laughs> Suddenly, right? Turn back for two seconds talking to Adam. Turn back around. Two French guys are in front of us. I was not very happy about this, so I was there like, all right, I'll I'll talk to him. Um, they, all right, mate, um, we were there, and he looks at me, and he just turns back around as if like, he didn't even hear me, saying, the negotiating terms are off now, right, no more of that, I don't want to negotiate, and we've got to get him near the window, right, snag him in that upper lip to cut off his brain cut, can't react and kill the hostage, so I cut in front of him, Adam's still behind him, because he doesn't want to cut in front of me, he pushes me, right, it's quite him, but he, he pushes me, like, you know, there's those, like, ropes and clumps, where, like, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a pole and a, and a yeah, I know one of them, right? So, right, as a school kid, and you've got some 20 year old guys you know about, what do you do? I'll tell you what you do. You go and get the teacher. Uh, we leave the lab, we go find Mrs. Miller. We go find, um, and we're there, like, some guy just pushed in front of us on the uh, elevator ride. Like, she's a bit annoyed that we don't have to schedule, but she decides to come with us and talk to him. We were looking for her for five minutes, but he isn't anywhere there.